air gunner training exercise somewhere over the North Sea. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Hot Tips. My name's Charlie. This is Bomber Crew. We're going to do a little bit of a let's try here to see what it's all about. I've had my eyes on this game for quite a while, and I'm super excited. Special thank you to Runner Duck for sending me a key and allowing me to try out your game and share it with my community. So in Bomber Crew, it's a, it basically is it's called a strategic simulation, although I don't exactly know how simulating it really is. Uh, but in Bomber Crew, you control a crew of, in this case, four, but I'm imagining we're going to get more than that later, um, for uh, a variety of different people, right? There's pilots, there's a navigator, there's somebody on radar, communications, that kind of thing, and then there is a gunner. So by moving the scroll wheel, I can zoom in and out using the right click on the mouse button, I can move around. And space goes into a tagging mode where I can tag uh, certain things of interest, whether that be waypoints or targets or anything like that. So we'll just tag this up. And you'll notice you don't actually control the craft in Bomber Crew. You don't control any aspect of the craft or the missions utility, like any of that. Instead, you control your crew. You have to tell your crew what to do. So this guy, for example, I just clicked him. He was on the front gun, but he can't see the targets behind the plane with the front gun. So I need to move him to the middle gun so that he can see targets. Now he can see that target back there or up there. So he'll go ahead and shoot that. Without instructions, your crew will basically just not do anything different, and that includes your pilot. So your plane will just keep going in a straight line until you give them a new place to head. Uh, so fun. Now, if it sounds like I might be a bit more informed than usual on a blind play, it's because I've done the tutorial already. I've done this tutorial already. So um, there is at least a little bit of experience in the first few minutes of the game. And the only reason I'm replaying the tutorial is because it does a fairly decent job of showing you what's expected of you and sh sort of showing you um, the types of gameplay you're going to have to encounter. Uh, and I wanted to replay it also because it's not that long. So enemy fighters spotted on the radar. That's the radar guy. He's able to see enemies coming. There's the radar there. We can also see them in the sky. Sometimes they'll, uh, they'll ping like this. And we can set our tagging to look at the fighters that are back there and tag the enemy, which is nice. Uh, there's much more than just those three, though. I think there's like nine or ten that come at me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and set the waypoint for the pilot for navigation. And then I'm going to focus on the enemies while we have it navigating to the proper place. So here's some more enemies. And then there's some more over here. And I think... I think that's all of them that come in the tutorial, but in a regular mission, I'm sure there are a lot more complicated situations than just tag all the enemies and wait for you guys to shoot. They will damage our plane, and they could potentially shoot us down, but we have a pretty big plane compared to them. So, I'm not sure if that's... There's all sorts of different stuff in here. I'm wondering if we get to interact with that stuff later, too, or if it's just for show. Whoa. Whoa. Never mind. There's more enemies than I remember. We have to tag them up, otherwise we won't shoot at them. Uh, those guys are friendlies. They're already shooting at each other, so never mind. Cool. Alright, we need to get our nav point. So our pilot will turn and go that way. The flight... Uh, the flight physics, I guess you could say, are a little off. They're not made to be realistic. It's supposed to be kind of a cute little game. Um... I guess if I had to nitpick and say things to improve in the future, I would say making the visuals on sort of like the flying part of it uh, a bit more realistic. Uh, right now, uh, basically the plane will just it could just turn on a dime, and it doesn't even it doesn't even really you know have any role to it at all. Um, so I would maybe work on that bit. Uh, also. Uh, you guys didn't see it yet because you didn't see the menu screen, but there are very little options in terms of, like, sound settings, graphic settings, and things like that. I'm currently playing at 1440p resolution in terms of, like, what's being rendered. Uh, okay, I need to select my pilot and tell him to lower the gears so he will land. So I selected the runway. That gets him to, you know, in a mode where he wants to line up with the runway and land, but he won't lower the landing gear unless I tell him to do it. Um... But anyway, I'm currently playing a 1440p resolution. I'm not going to say I'm playing on high graphics settings because 
There currently are no graphic settings. That's actually a thing. It's, I mean, granted, this is still in development, right? It's not a fully released game or anything. Uh, but as of watching this video, it is released on Steam. You can look at it on Steam if you want to. That was a really weird turn. See what I'm saying? Um, but uh, you can see it in the description down below. You'll see a link to the Steam page if you want to go check it out yourself. And uh, yeah, as soon as we land here, that would be the extent of my experience with it. Normally, I would say, hey, let's do the Let's Try Completely Blind, but I thought maybe I'd give a little bit of time into it, just enough to know whether I want to play it. And uh, I've been getting sent quite a few new games lately from other developers and stuff, which is like really awesome. Like, freaking dream come true to be able to see new things and share it with you guys. Um, but. Yeah, and the landing's a little bit quick, too, but, like, whatever. It's it's supposed to be a cute game. Uh, anyway, I've been getting a whole bunch of different games, and I'm going to start playing them just for a little bit before I, before I actually share them with you guys, just so I have a bit more of an informed look on things. I don't screw up super bad. <laughs> Not saying I would screw up at all, but... Uh, mission report. We are successful. Great. And everybody is going to be returned. Safe and sound. We have Bobby Bithel, Frank Sutherland, Janice Nangle, and Norma Tutti. And to my understanding, there are a lot of different customization options that you can go through. Uh, a lot of different uh, character tweaks, uh, different skills, and different things that go with the different jobs, as well as a lot of customizations that you can do to your plane. Let's go ahead and check out the Recruit tab really quick. Uh, we're blind now, by the way. This is all blind now, so I don't know anything that's was going to happen now. We have uh, F. Doctory, Docherty, I guess. I'm going to assume this symbol is like an engineer, potentially. Amateur chef is a trait. Okay. He's got two armor, survival skills. Uh, one thing I will nitpick, um, and I don't really think it's nitpick. I think it's actually a pretty serious thing that it needs, is we need pop-up tooltips. We need, like, I need to highlight over this and know exactly what that is, and I have no idea. I assume it's an engineer, uh, safe bet, but uh, I don't I don't know. Or a mechanic. I mean, engineer, but a mechanic or something. Um but I would like to know more details about some of this stuff. Like things like thermal. What does that even mean? I imagine I know what it means. If we get like stranded in a cold place, how likely is he to freeze to death? Maybe? I don't know. Armor? Maybe that's like uh, how tough he is. Can you take a shot or two? I don't know. Um, but survival skills. Uh, based on the icon, if I had to guess, I'd say uh, survival skills on land, survival skills on water. That's about the only thing I can think of there. I'm probably right on that, but like it'd be nice to know that I'm right, you know? Okay, so these are all procedurally generated characters. I'm going to take this guy because he's got armor and survival skills. So let's recruit him. Oh, the other two left. Why'd the other two leave? Oh, oh, okay. So I can only have one of the... Oh, I get it. I get it. So I need to hire another gunner, and then I can also hire a bomber. Okay. I'm assuming that's a bomber. Again, these are assumptions, but I think the reason why there's no pop-up tooltips is because the assumptions are, um, I guess fairly self-explanatory I suppose um, I know this symbol and this symbol only because the tutorial had those people there and it was like it made sense you know uh, so let's look at this guy two armor three on the thermal survival nice uh, it looks like we can also rename them oh yeah we can rename all the characters uh, this could be a thing. <laughs> I like to incorporate my viewers into videos, and it would be super cool to have you guys on my plane. <laughs> I think so. Uh, we have another gunner. 12 survival skill. Wow. Uh, that's almost too good to pass up. Uh, I don't know what the speed is, too. Is this, like, how fast he's going to walk while he's in the plane? I'm going to take this guy. Like The survival skill seems too good to pass up here, I think. Charles Davies, welcome to the crew. All right, sweet. Let's go to crew gear. And it looks like we have... A, our three new recruits need some gear because they're just in street clothes right now. So if I click this guy, it looks to me like I have flight suits, headgear, oxygen vest, gloves, boots, and there's also presets, which we can just outfit everybody with the starter flight preset. That might be a thing. It looks like the starter flight pre preset will reduce his movement speed by 10%. I think it's just because of the weight of it, right? Um, but we can equip it for 110. We have three people that need it, so we could just pay the 330 for it. Uh, it's going to help with armor a lot and survivability. Yeah, I I'm going to do it to everybody, I think. 
Makes sense. Can't be having them out there in their street clothes. Uh, all right then, training. What does that do? Doesn't appear to do anything. Okay, well, we also have this little exclamation point up here in the corner, or question mark, exclamation point. We have a question mark up here, and actually, this is probably something that I would actually wanna read. Funds and Intel, it tells everything about the game. This is documentation, and I have not looked at this, but I totally should have. So you know what? This changes my perspective on like the tooltips being needed, because if you have all this stuff, then you don't need the tooltips. So I get it, good, good stuff there. Uh, engine fires, wow. There's gonna be a bunch of stuff, man. Landing gear, gun turret rotation, bomb bay doors, nice. Uh, controls, pretty self-explanatory there, but again, option-wise, there's not a whole lot. You just have the option to turn the music on or off, so. Uh, okay, so let's go to aircraft. There's our plane. Looking pretty good. The Star Duster. We can rename the plane if we want to as well. That's kind of nice. Uh, we can go to gun turrets, tail turrets. Oh, we can upgrade stuff. Oh, this is the... Okay, so it's very modular. We can add another gun if we want to. Uh, if we had the money to do so. I assume that if we could add another gun, then we could also hire another crewmate to man that gun. Maybe? I don't know. Probably have to move people around. Equipments, we have... Med kits, fire extinguishers. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking... God, what's more important? What is this? It looks like a parachute. I think I'm going to go with med pack. Probably. I don't know. Fuselage, standard fuselage. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of things we can upgrade here. Uh, survival, a, a homing pigeon? What? <laughs> uh, I don't know everything about, like old World War II era planes and stuff. So like if there's a, if pigeon is mean something, maybe it's an inside joke or something. Uh, I'm not aware of it. I know they, they tested like navigation for bombs. Uh, they used pigeons for this kind of thing. They would have pigeons peck at a screen and hit the target and they would train them to like peck at screens for navigation, unmanned aerial planes and stuff. That was a real thing that people tried a long, long time ago. I don't know all the, the basics of it, but it seemed pretty silly to me when I heard about it, but it's a real thing. Classic camo, uh, curved sea foam. Uh, that looks gross, no thank you. I'll keep the camo, thanks. We have nose art we could do. Uh, we could do the runner duck logo, that's cool. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to take a call really quick. Uh, we have the Runner Duck logo, which is pretty cool. We also have Custom. Custom 1, Custom 2. Uh, customize, I guess? What kind of customizations can we make to this? It's a blank slate. Can we... Oh, wow, it's a paintbrush. Can we draw? Ooh. <laughs> That's actually kind of nice. So you could make your own designs on this if you wanted to, which like, if I wanted to make like, I'm not going to be able to make a straight line with a mouse because I'm terrible at it. But if I wanted to put like an HT on the side of my plane, I totally could, right? Yeah, I totally could. So if you had better art skills than I do, you could totally make that happen. I'm going to stick with Rubber Duck because it looks pretty good. It actually looks like it's somewhat professionally done. Engine art. Flames, yes. Ooh, the flying tigers. I like it. Let's do that. If you're not familiar with the flying tigers, that's something I am at least familiar with. Um, look it up online. Old uh, group from China. Really cool. Uh, they do, actually, they do a lot of, um, like, they still do aerial stuff, I think. Um, my producer on the film that I made um, was actually the creator of the film for the flying tigers. One of the more accurate documentary films for the flying tigers, so... Uh, let me go... Ooh, this custom logo carries onto the wings, too. It doesn't really look good there, though. I think I'll make a new one here. Custom 2. How about we go, like, a green? And maybe we go, like, this paint... Oh, that's too big. Let's go maybe this paintbrush. Maybe we make, like, um... I don't know, like a... Like a little squiggle or something. That doesn't really look that good. Maybe we make it a little more organized, like... I think that might look good. What does it look like? Eh, you know, just something. Some some character that says it's ours. It doesn't really need to be big. Waste text. Black text, white text. Bomber crew. Nice. We can change the text as well if we want to. Oh, yes. 
hot bombs. <laughs> All right, hit, we're gonna install that, that's good. I think I'm done customizing. Let's go to briefing. And let's see what we have as far as missions goes. We have uh, enemy fighter aces, what's this? Felix Fetter and Gunnar Gunther. Are these the, these are the, the guys to beat on our enemy? Is that it? Our enemy forces have some some notable figures we want to get after? Okay. So it looks like we have a campaign uh, details over here when we click one from the map. It says, let's see how you hack handle a practice bomb run. We're looking for pinpoint precision. We get $900 for this as well as a safe return bonus of 600 Okay, cool. Dummy target for some bomb run training. Your navigator will plot a route to the target. Nice. We have all of our new crew in the plane too, so we're pretty crowded now. I like it. Select the pilot, say take off. Will do. Oh yeah. Wanna also give him a waypoint. Adjusting heading. Yeah. I kinda like how when they talk, it's sort of mumbled. So you can sort of like you know they're talking, but you can kind of just Yeah, see how the, the flight mechanic yeah. Yeah, I would, I would seriously, if there was one thing I could say about like improving the game, at least for me anyway, and maybe this is just because I play a lot of Kerbal Space Program or something, but um, I'd like to see the flight be a bit, just a tad bit more realistic on how it moves around. Uh, you might want to move your bomber to aim. Hey, is this a bomber? Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah, he's laying out his belly. Yep, he's got to look through the... T okay, okay, cool. So we want to open the doors. We want to make that the, the waypoint. And then we want to select all, I guess, and release the bombs. Wow, we really... We really messed that place up, didn't we? We almost got the homes. Why are we doing a bomb testing run so close to the... So close to town? That's just horrible. Heading confirmed, we wanna investigate something off the coast, okay? Yeah, that's really dangerous, right next to that city there. Uh, get a photo of whatever's going on in the sea and return to base, watch out for enemy fighters. Okay, we need to get photos. So it looks like the bomber, can, in addition to releasing bombs, he can also take photos. Cool. So where do we need to take the photo at? You have a new navigation marker? Not yet. Oh, there it is. Cool. New course plotted. So we want to investigate what's happening over the water. Oh, that looks like a photo opportunity. Let's go there. There's another one over there. Well, actually, let's go to this one first. Uh, wait. Is this it? Target spotted? Is that it? No? I don't see anything down that way. Huh. Tag a photographable target to fly over. Ah, there we go. That's totally a target. And the plane makes a super big hairpin turn and we come right over top of it. So it looks like I'm gonna have to, just like the bombs, we wanna go right over the target and then take a picture when we're right over the target. Nice. I like it. So we can close up the doors now. And I think probably Are we gonna get shot at? There's like epic music happening now. Well, Davies and Tutty are totally ready for it. More, you can go back up into the gun if you want to. All the destruction we had over by the town. Uh, what's this? Hydraulic system is broken down. It must be repaired for the landing gear to be lowered. Oh. Uh, okay. Select the 
Aha, it is an engineer. Okay, let's fix this. Any of your any of your crew can repair systems, but your engineer will repair them the fastest. Higher level engineers will repair even faster. Okay, so it's good to know that everybody else is trained on repairing things. In case my engineer is otherwise indisposed. Alright, let's um we're gonna I think he'll be done in time. I want to give him time to repair it, so I don't really want to tell my pilot to go and land if he's... I think he'll be done in time. Let's do this. Yeah, he's going to line up with the runway. They've got it repaired. Nice. Okay, so pilot, lower gear. All right. First mission that's outside, well, that actually might be a tutorial mission anyway, so I can't say that that's, I can't say that that's our first non-tutorial mission, because it may not be, but. I do like the music. I'm hoping I don't get content ID'd on it, but <laughs> I do like the music. It's always a struggle to figure out, like, what which, which games you can allow the music to play, and like really share the full experience and which games you should turn the music off on, you know, because you never know when people are going to... Game developers, man, I mean, they, they give you permission to play their game, but that doesn't mean you have permission to play the music that's in the game, you know. People were playing Cuphead, they had huge problems with that, and that's why I didn't touch Cuphead, because I don't want to deal with it. All right, so, uh, mission success. Pretty self-explanatory there. Return to base, everything's fine. Didn't even get... Our plane doesn't even need repaired. Very cool. Campaign progress meter. So it looks to me like maybe the campaign is fairly short. Unless the tutorial just counts one block and then everything else is proceeding after, from that point. <laughs> Everybody returns safely. Everybody gets, um, I assume, experience leveled, I guess. Uh, I would maybe say if I had to, again, give little critiques here and there, I would say maybe this took a little bit too long to happen. Maybe having all of them happen at the same time would be better. Um, just having to wait around for that whole screen to happen just to see. I don't know about that, but uh, I don't think we have anyone else we can recruit because it looked like our crew was full. I wonder if there's a way to uh, expand on how many people you can have, like uh, a base upgrade, if you will. And I'm also wondering what this symbol here is. Is it like an intrigue kind of thing? Like what our enemies, like our spies or something? Maybe how many spies we have or I don't know. Uh, crew gear, not, nothing different there. I don't think we're going to be able to train. Aircraft is probably going to be the same. Can we make another... We can probably add another gun to this if we want to now though. Radar systems. Uh, okay, so we need whatever this is. We need to spend whatever this is to get... Mm, better radar. Yeah, this is here too. It's it's interesting. I kind of want to know what that is, just to know. Uh, if I look at this, um, can I see what that symbol is? Funds and oh, it's intel. Okay, yeah. So intrigue, etc. Yeah, yeah. As you gain more intel, you unlock better gear for your crew. Okay. Is there a way to increase how intel? is earned or is it just based on through missions i don't know something to look into i guess take a look at our mission briefing screen we have three possible targets now one is a one of our brave spitfire pilots had a run-in over the channel and had to ditch in the drink locate the poor fellow and drop survival gear that sounds pretty easy Drop survival gear. It's kind of like a bomber then, but instead of bombs, it's a... Well, he hopes instead of a bomb, it's... Uh, uh, this one here, uh, a battery. It's been raining down artillery in the East Coast. Our current bombs aren't able to penetrate it, but we can starve it of ammunition, destroy the ammo dumps, supplying the guns. This one gets a bonus perk. Enemy damage down for the next two missions. That's not bad. I like it. Uh, and then our reconnaissance has identified one of the enemy's motor f motor factories in Belgium. Let's knock it out. So this is a bomber run. The other one is probably a bomber run. And then this one here is uh, a rescue. You know, I'm kind of leaning towards the rescue, even though there's perks on this. I'm wondering if we can't starve it of ammunition afterwards. 
like do we get to do all three of them eventually if we want to or if i choose this one then does it branch off and these two become unavailable i guess it's one way to find out but if i had to choose i think i would go with this only because uh i would i tend to i tend to lean towards rescuing people before attacking an enemy um just kind of how i would do it um how i would hope that they would my team would do it if i'm if i'm the stranded person i guess uh so let's begin this one we're gonna drop him survival gear i guess the new mission everyone is ready to go i didn't add the extra gun i probably should have probably should have added the extra gun oh well okay let's take off get our waypoint right here and it looks to me like we had extra controls here yeah we can choose target altitudes that's interesting supplies must be dropped from a low altitude the container has a parachute it will drift if if dropped too high ah that's true yep that makes sense we also have additional commands now abort emergency land and bailout Ooh. That's scary. <laughs> I wonder if we'll need... I hope we don't need any of these. Uh, I hope everything goes smoothly and the enemy doesn't spot us and everything will be fine, right? That's that's exactly what will happen. Everything will be totally fine. Okay. Uh, what other controls do we have? Transfer pump. Oh, because we have a fuel system now. Ooh. Yeah, we're using fuel. Okay. So we have to keep track of fuel. We can't just stay out forever then. We have gunners with ammunition. Okay, we can run out of ammo. That's a good thing to know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Where's our bomber? We have three gummer. Oh, this is... Yeah, he's currently in the bomber's seat. I get it. He's a, he's a bomber, but he's currently in a gunner's seat. Good to know that they have different roles like that. So he can, he can actually be a gunner if he wants to. And he's on the forward one. This arrow means forward. Uh... This is the upper one. This is the rear. And I'm assuming there will be another one if we get the lower one. So that's cool. Little subtleties in the icon would also give you a visual tool of where people are. That's cool. Uh, okay, then. So we're headed towards our waypoint to drop supplies. That would mean that we would probably want you to be in the seat down here. Yes, we would probably want you there. Although... I worry that if we get, if we're going to get raided by somebody. Drop supplies from low altitude. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. You got it, Chief. Wing Commander Biggins. Oh, here it is right here. Let's do this quick. Let's just do it quick and get out of here. Let's open the doors. Oh, we got enemies incoming. We got enemies incoming. Shit. Gotta release these quick so we can get back in our gun. Okay, let's close the doors. Get back in the gun. We gotta mark these targets quick before they kill us. Oh shit, they're really fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, marking not as easy as before. Not if they start moving. Gotta get back to base if we can. There's additional targets off to our... Where are they? Where are they? Wow, up here. I think we could go higher. I think we go up higher. Get into the clouds. Where's the enemy at, man? There. I marked all the enemies, didn't I? Got one right here. Oh man. Are we going back to base? Navigation is difficult through the clouds. Shit. But it's hard for them to see me, right? Oh, we have a fire. It's not good. Uh, can we get one of our guys to put it out? We're low on, oh man. How do we put the fire out? I don't think we can. Oh no! Okay, hold on. You need to get, no, you need to get fuel. Yep, no, yep, there we go. You, get ammo. 
And go to this. No, no. Get get the ammo. Give it to the gunner. Shit. How do I put this out? I don't think you can. We don't have a we don't have a fire extinguisher. Uh, we need our engineer. Where's our engineer? Is it you? I think it's you. Can you fix this? Oh, how are you gonna fix that? Are you gonna go out? Oh my God, you're gonna go out into the under the wing. Oh man. Okay. Where is our waypoint? We're gonna, oh my God, this is a cloud, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a bad, bad deal here, wow. Where is, I can't find the enemy. I need to drop lower, I need to go lower. We need to be able to navigate. Great, electrical systems are bad. All right, gunner. I need you, sorry. Um, shit, you. Go fix this. Uh, you, you're actually the one I want to fix this. Have you fixed this? You, come on back inside. Uh, let's grab the... Uh, Sutherland is my navigation, right? I need the navigator to be back in the seat. Let's switch you out. We are way off course right now. We need to get navigation up pronto, man. I need navigation. Right there. Oh, he just missed it. Come on. Need nav now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of messed up, man. That was, that was really intense. There's still an electrical problem here. I'm not sure how to fix it. We'll have him look at it after he's done. Once they finish the task, yeah. Come over here. Actually, you are here. No, you are here. No. All right, you come here. You come here. There we go. All right, land, right there, land. It's nighttime. <laughs> All right, and let's get the lo lower the landing gear. It's intense, it's intense. Now it looks to me like we also have some tools here to speed up time, so if we wanted to, we could speed this up because I had the landing gear down and I've already told my pilot to land. So we could speed up the time and make this happen. Whew. It's kind of a rocky ride when you look at it really fast like that. And it slows down time to real time. Okay. Wow. Our plane is really beat up, but mission is successful. We had a fire, blew out one of our engines, but we managed to pull it off. We had this brave engineer go out into the onto the wing and fix an engine on the wing outside. Like crazy people happening here. But we had a pretty good sum of money there. Pretty good sum of money. Totally gonna add another gun. That's absolutely going to happen. Uh, or at least it would happen if we continue, which I don't know, because we're going to leave this video here. This is Bomber Crew. It's by Runner Duck. You can find a link to it in the description down below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the game, of course, you can leave a comment down below. Or if you don't like the game, you can leave a comment down below. I'm going to be down in the comments as well, engaging with you. And of course, if you want more, you got to tell me. I'm Charlie. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.